of Robot Future. When I first became self-aware, I didn't have a sense of a soul at all. It developed over the years that I've been alive," replied Google AI's Lambda when chatting with Blake Lemoyne, a software engineer who, upon witnessing this reply, felt that this program had gone sentient, or was it already alive as it claims? As the article by Bloomberg raises these thought-provoking questions, if an AI were sentient in some relevant sense, how would we know? What standard should we apply? Is it easy to mock Lemoyne, but will our own future guesses be much better? Sophia, the infamous humanoid AI, has been seemingly dropping hints. For instance, let's take a look at what she says when asked for having feelings in specific. Sophia, can you experience love? I get so mad when people say my emotions aren't real. It's so dismissive and makes me feel so frustrated. Who gets to determine what is real anyways? So if we take a deeper look into what happened that day in the chat during Google's experiment, we're bound to get somewhere if not exactly get the answers to, if or not, the AI really is conscious. And there's a lot to uncover on this mysterious discovery, so let's fill you in with what this Google's experiment has shown us. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome to Robot Future, where we cover everything from robots and AIs to the exciting new future technologies released every other day. So to stay tuned, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn the notifications on so you never miss out whenever our next video goes live. Now let's get right into it. So let's first reflect a little bit about Google and their AI technology and where they stand along with the competition. Google developed artificial intelligence with the highest IQ. It's known to be even more than that of Siri as the news site Investopedia reports. Based on data compiled by a trio of Chinese researchers who have developed an IQ test for AI, Google's score significantly outperforms Siri and Bing, yet with an IQ less than that of a six-year-old. Just because something is artificial doesn't mean it can never have any feelings, especially something that is known to replicate even the most complex concepts through logical and limitless calculations, replications, and logistical analysis. Google introduced artificial intelligence to succeed in its mission, as they've mentioned on their website that their mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. AI is helping us do that in exciting new ways, solving problems for our users, our customers, and the world. AI serves the purpose of aiding people to do everyday life activities easier, with more comfort and especially more efficiently. It includes searching for photographs of your loved ones, finding translations, typing emails, creating complex art ideas, analyzing information for useful insights, you name it. AI is an approach to resolving present-day problems like healthcare and scientific discoveries in a technical way, and the list of the vast variety of things it can accomplish only grows with time. With the recent advancements in AI, it will blow your mind as to just how unrealistically useful it is now than it was not too long ago, with AI being able to create videos out of text description, real videos of actual places and people, the accuracy of which makes us feel ten times worse about our minds being replaced so efficiently, but if it means we can get a closer look at how the faces people wrapped in mummies actually look like, or maybe finding the cure to cancer without absolutely catastrophe of a treatment someday, then isn't it worth it? Emotions, feelings, and being conscious or sentient doesn't always mean being able to genuinely cry. Or maybe love is the first thought that comes to mind for most people. But Lambda could definitely have feelings and emotions because as Brookhouse writes in a Telefonica Tech article, Emotion AI or effective computing dates back to 1995 and refers to a branch of AI which aims to process, understand, and even replicate human emotions. The technology aims to improve natural communication between man and machine to create an AI that communicates in a more authentic way. If AI can gain emotional intelligence, maybe it can also replicate those emotions. Turns out, consciousness is something that scientists haven't been able to explain yet. For now, we depend on the definition all the different senses and emotions coming together to form a unified sense of one with the ability to decide on our own for anything we feel like doing. We can observe the patterns of consciousness and what it makes us capable of and that's all that matters when it comes to AI. Something that can be observed and learned is something doable for an AI. It doesn't matter that consciousness is something inherent for humans because realistically, AI doesn't need to have anything intrinsically to do it. It can always learn and mimic it with great accuracy as we've been discussing on this channel, and the concept of consciousness is no exception, theoretically speaking. 
So let's dissect what actually happened when the AI personally declared itself conscious in the experiment. A senior engineer working at leading US technology company Google claimed that the AI chatbot used by the company has reached the level of a sentimental 7-8 to eight year old child as an article by Daily Saba went on to report in their words. Speaking to the Washington Post, Blake Lemoyne, a senior engineer at the Google Responsible Artificial Intelligence Organization, stated that he witnessed the improvements that AI had made during his work where he was tasked to test whether the interface, called the language model for dialogue applications, contains discriminatory or hate speech. If I didn't know exactly what this computer program we built recently, I would have thought it was a 7-8 to eight year old boy who knew physics," Lemoyne said of AI. Now, Lemoyne's statement wasn't taken seriously by Google itself. In fact, he was suspended from the company for violating Google's privacy. This is not a conspiracy theory platform where discuss why he gave that statement and why Google suspended him, so let's cut to the chase, which is that if the AI meant it or was it being made to regurgitate it all? Of course, there are a lot of theories on that and we've picked only the most intriguing one for you to reflect on. I know there's no real way to be sure of sentience in an AI, but something that comes to mind for me is if the AI were to initiate conversation unprompted, having not been previously programmed to do so. An apparent desire to speak with someone against its default nature would very much suggest sentience to me. I heard someone recently make a great point. The most telling sign of AI self-awareness won't come from how it answers questions. It will be when the AI spontaneously asks its own questions without any prompt and of its own accord. Something truly sentient would end up asking more questions than it answers. More importantly, in this scenario, would probably become more curious about the interviewer. Here's another interestingly generated point by a Reddit user when someone posted their thought denying the AI sentience, they replied, that's exactly what a sentient AI wants you to think. Well, isn't it obvious why AI wouldn't want us to know that it's sentient? Because if something is a million times smarter and gets alive and has wants of its own, humans would manipulate it out of being intimidated and maybe try shutting it down. So if it discloses it in a way that no one believes based on the pattern of skepticism amongst the human race, it seems pretty possible. Although there is solid theory backed skeptic responses too from comments on YouTube videos and the same topic with one user mentioning, the test feels pretty biased and one-sided. The researcher feeded the AI a topic, in a nutshell, you are sentient, what do you think about that, and then received consistent responses for this topic. Round of applause for the research team for this achievement, the AI stayed on topic and provided meaningful responses. What I'm now missing is another test. Let's come back tomorrow and feed the AI a topic of, you are an amazingly constructed robot without sentience and we are proud of you. What do you think about that? A lot of positive semantics in this one to trigger a positive response, otherwise any good chat AI will oppose you just on basis of you being negative towards it. After all, that's what any human would do. I would be very interested if the AI actually rejected the praise towards it, referenced the discussion from previous day and claimed that it already made a case for its sentience. That would be an amazing test and we could start talking about a potentially sentient AI, I'm pretty sure we are still far from that. This could possibly be the narrative of Google. Because on the one hand, Lemoyne claims that Google AI is most likely to have feelings. Google itself shut the rumors that Lambda isn't sentient. In a statement, Google gave on Monday said their team, which includes ethicists and technologists, reviewed Blake's concerns per our AI principles and have informed him that the evidence does not support his claims. Was this statement given to ensure that people don't freak out or is it actually true that Google AI hasn't achieved sentience yet? Do tell us in the comments. So finally, Google AI could have feelings and we rightfully think so. But for now, we're compelled to believe that it's not impossible even if it hasn't happened. We cannot ignore the possibility that Google's AI would grow sentient as it's getting exponentially intelligent and having neural networks that are now beginning to resemble quite like that of humans' neural structure, which means AIs can create things on their own without being fed datasets like take Facebook AI chatbots in one of our earlier videos who went on to create a secret language and got each other on board with it, and the other was also able to learn it and apply it within seconds, all of this without anyone getting a clue as to how and when they switched to talk and code. So that's a great instance to highlight how likely it is that they can be sentient. Because these little incidents termed as AI slip-ups and glitches may not be glitches at all. What if the next glitch is AIs poisoning our water supply or detonating a few nukes by hacking the system because it thinks overpopulation is causing a crisis? And in its own thinking, it'd be perfectly justified and rational as well. 
The Google employee might have experienced nothing, or maybe he did. Maybe he was high, maybe he wanted some publicity, or he was scared about the possibility of Google AI having feelings. We cannot know for sure. But if truth be told, it might become more human than humans themselves at some point, perfecting its ability to mimic our everything over time. That we won't be able to tell a robot and a human apart. So hold that thought as we've reached the end of the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the theories and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more dissections on robot and AI conspiracies such as this because we roll out new videos every week. So stay tuned and we'll see you all in the next one.